A Greenville County judge heard arguments to release a man acquitted in the killing of his great aunt from a psychiatric hospital. Javon Carter was found not guilty by reason of insanity, and today state health officials asked a judge to allow him to be discharged. Our Kylie Jones was in the courtroom and joins us live with the latest. Kylie. And yes, Sydney Javon Carter was admitted to a psychiatric hospital this past August. Today, his psychiatrist testifying in court that inpatient treatment is no longer appropriate for him. The solicitor's office, however, pushing back against that, also adding that Carter had previously escaped from a psychiatric hospital and was out at the time of his great aunt's death. Now, investigators say in 2020, Frances Madison was found dead at her Greenville home in with stab wounds. She was 93 years old. They say Javon Carter was charged and later acquitted of manslaughter this past spring. Today, a judge heard arguments about whether Carter is fit to be released from the psychiatric hospital he's been in. Carter's psychiatrist says he has been polite, calm, cool, and collected and has been very productive in his time there. He has demonstrated on numerous occasions an understanding of his symptoms. He has engaged in intelligent discussion with us about his medications, about potential side effects. Um, he has shown us that he is invested in his treatment at the hospital. How could someone who was such an upstanding citizen and so intelligent commit such a crime against such a helpless and loving person? Um, I would ask that you make Greenville County and all surrounding counties a little bit more safer for all the citizens of this area, as well as me and my family. And that is one of other Madison, one of Madison's other great nephews you just heard from who pushed back against releasing Carter from the hospital. The solicitor's office also today questioned the lack of structure and monitoring they say Carter would have if he were released. Now Carter's team asked the judge to allow him to continue getting care, but outpatient care while he lives with his mother at her home. The judge ultimately not making a decision today, but asking both sides to submit proposed orders and will revisit those in a week or a couple. It could be a couple more weeks from now. Live in Greenville, Kylie Jones, WYFF News 4.